Greetings to all, my name is Gura and welcome to day 7 of Eldritch Moon Spoilers. So let's get right into it. First is Crypt Breaker, which is 1 black for a 1-1 one, one zombie. You can pay 2 mana and tap it and discard a card to get a 2-2 two, two zombie creature token onto the battlefield. And you can tap 3 untapped zombies you control, you draw a card and you lose one life. Yes. So what zombies always missed is early creatures. And now in this set, you get a great one drop zombie and a great two drop zombie, and they both don't enter tapped and they both have good effects. So yes, this might even make zombie tribal viable in standard. In limited, this card is also really great. You can turn dead cards into 2-2 two -two zombies. And you if you play some zombies, you can draw free cards when the, when the board state is stuck. I mean, when nothing's happening. So yeah. It's, it's a great card, it's an early zombie, so that makes it a great card just being an early zombie. Lashweed Lurker is 8 generic for a 5-4 Eldrazi Horror with Emerge for a 7, of which 1 green, 1 blue. When you cast it, you may put target non-land permanent on top of its owner's library. Yeah, I can see where this is going. Obviously... This is great and limited, not amazing and limited, but it's great and limited. Because you can stall their board and make them not draw the next card. And you get a 5-4. So eh, it's it's great and limited. Outside of limited, nope. Nope. Probably won't see play anywhere outside of limited. Mercurial Geists is 2 generic 1 blue 1 red for a 1-3 creature spirit with flying and whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell Mercurial Geists get plus 3 plus 0 until end of turn. It's not We Dragonauts, it's not Nivic Cyclops, it's not Kiln Fiend, however it's not bad either. I mean, it doesn't really have a place anywhere right now. Because it's not really good enough for limited unless you have a bunch of useful instants and sorceries. Because otherwise it's just a 1-3 flying for 4, which is bad. And in standard, this is just not good enough. It's too slow, it's too clunky, it's awkward. And outside of standard, there is better options like Kiln Fiend or Nivic Cyclops, so I don't think this has a spot anywhere. Maybe in Kaladesh standard, but right now, I don't know. Not even for limited. Morn Willow is one generic, one black, one green for a plant skeleton with haste. And when it enters the battlefield, if there are four or more creatures, bleh. Morn Willow is a one generic, one green, one black, three, two, plant, skeleton with haste and delirium. And when it enters the battlefield, if you have delirium, creatures with power two or less can't block this turn. Yeah, it's really great actually. It has haste, it's a three, two, haste for three, which is not bad. And it makes your opponent's creatures not block. If you have delirium and um, yeah it's it's good it's good for limited for standard nah nah this this doesn't really have a deck that it would fit in maybe maybe in some sort of new green black delirium deck that's gonna spawn then perhaps as some sort of way of getting past those white tokens, but I don't really think so. 
And also this card doesn't really feel green or black at all. It's just red. It screams red. Ride Down is one white, one red for an instant. Destroy target blocking creatures. Creatures were, that were blocked by that creature this combat gain trample until end of turn. It's a reprint from Kanza Tarkir. And back then it was great and limited, but didn't really see play in standard. Because Crackling Doom was in standard back then. And Crackling Doom was obviously way better than that. And the mana fixing was better, so you could you could really afford to play three colors. Now the mana base is not as good, not nearly as good. So yeah, this might actually see play in some some strategies. Obviously, in limited, it's amazing. It's two mana to destroy a blocking creature and deal a lot of damage. So sure, always expect this combat trick if your opponent is playing white red. Grim Flayer is one black, one green for a 2 2 human warrior with trample. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, look at the top three cards of your library, put any of them in your graveyard, and the best on top of you, and the rest on top of your library in any order. And it gets plus two, plus two if you have delirium. Yeah, again, if some sort of green black delirium deck is spawned from the set. This will be played in it. It's basically a 2-2 trample whenever this deals combat damage to a player. Scry 3. And it also helps give you delirium. So, sure. Sure. This card is great. Unlimited. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a bear with a huge upside. So, play this any day. Mirror Wing Dragon is 3 generic red red or a 4-5 dragon with flying. Whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery spell that targets only Mirror Wing Dragon, that player copies that spell for each other creature he or she controls that the spell could target. Each copy targets a different one of those creatures. Now, this is great. It might be too slow for the current standard, but if the standard slows down, this is basically a Zada, Hedron Grinder, that cannot be removed and on a bigger body with flying. I mean, it can be removed, but the player that removed it would have to kill off all of his own creatures as well, or usually kill off all of his own creatures as well. So yeah, it's it's actually a pretty good dragon. In limited, <laughs> you do play this card. It's a 4-5 flying for 5, which is already great because flying. And it has a huge upside. Again, 2 at a giant, because I'm gonna be playing 2 to a giant pre-releases, so I need to keep that in mind. If you're co if your second head casts a spell on the mirror wing dragon. He also casts those spells on his own creatures, so that's that's a pretty interesting interaction. Mind's Dilation is 5 generic double blue for an enchantment whenever an opponent casts his or her first spell each turn. That player exiles the top card of his or her library. If it's a non-land card, you may cast it without paying its mana cost. Obviously not meant for any constructed format except EDH, Commander and limited mythic most mythic as as i always say most mythics are insanely good in limited and this one is pretty good in limited is seven mana it's slow but once you play it it's gonna harm your opponents and it's gonna mill them so yeah great cards for limited and commander other than that no but it's a cool card nonetheless the last card for today is falcon wrath reaver which is one generic one red for a 2-2 vampire and that's it this is the first time red actually gets a bear without a downside a bear is a 2-2 for two so 
that that is really the first time red gets it without any downside so great great filler card and limited other than that nope so there were some more really interesting cards today i'm really looking forward to this set because there's a lot of great cards that have been spoiled so far and i just hope it keeps on going i just hope the the cool and great and interesting cards keep on going so are you looking forward to the set i hope so i am <laughs> thank you so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it and as always i will see you in the next one bye